Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. We got a lot of moving parts this morning. It's Fed Day. We get a statement by Jerome Powell. The Fed expected to keep rates unchanged. But what will be interesting is the press conference and the economic forecast going forward. Ahead of that, we have the S&P's positive by 11 at 32.16. The NASDAQ can't hold the NASDAQ down. NASDAQ accelerating higher, up 95 points. NASDAQ 100 futures right now, 10,040. The Dow up 43 points, 27,309. You get the Russell 2000 positive by two points at 1510. Oil negative 50 cents at 3844, backing off from the highs of $40 and change Sunday evening. We got the inventory numbers for crude, 1030 a.m. this morning, an hour and a half from right now. I'll be on the air live with Tom for those. Always an interesting time of the week. Gold extending the gains from yesterday, 1730. You're up $8 today. The lows of 1671 on Friday and continuing quite a run we had yesterday for gold going from under 1700 to a high of about 1726 we're now actually peaking above that level briefly 1729.50 silver up 27 cents above 18 dollars at 1806 and notes and bonds this morning we're continuing a little higher price and lower yield the 10-year up eight ticks at 137.31 you have the 30-year right now up 16 ticks at 174.26 in terms of what else you have happening as i mentioned it is fed day jumping over to the headline what's next from the fed will help decide the course for the markets is the headline at CNBC. And uh, what's interesting here they'll be talking about is that uh, they um, decided to not make a statement of the forecast um, at their last meeting in March. So when the Fed issues its statement Wednesday, it is expected to release its quarterly economic and interest rate forecast. So we'll get the dot plot, I believe, which it declined to do at the height of the crisis in March. Now the Fed has a chance to describe what it thinks the future path might look like, provide forecasts, and possibly add clarity about its programs and future steps. That should be an interesting afternoon. Uh, AMC, they're gonna open their theaters hopefully in July. In for about July 17th with one movie release followed by a Disney movie the next weekend and then Starbucks trading lower this morning as they lost three billion dollars in revenue in the latest quarter US consumer price indexes ticking lower for the third straight month down 0.1 percent last month and how about mortgage demand up now 13 percent annually despite rising rates. Stay tuned folks, lots of market action. Larry Pesvento coming up live with Trade What You See right now.